Shalom. Kamustas, amigos, amigas, brothers, ancestors. By the way, I'm your brother Malonis J. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And if you are new in my channel, don't forget to like, share, comments, and subscribe and press the buttons for notification. If I have new video that notifying you. Our topic today: Can God become as a man? Please watch out. Welcome back, amigos, amigas, and brothers and sisters. Before we start our video, I'm hoping that all of you are in good condition with the help of our Almighty God, the Father, through Yeshua, our Lord. We continue about our topics. God can become as a man. Please listen and learn, amigos, amigas, brothers, and sisters. So, hindi natin ikakaila na ang Diyos pwede siya maging tao dahil siya ang makapangyarihan sa lahat. He is the most powerful in the universe and in this world. Hindi pwede natin questionin ang kanyang kapangyarihan. Kapag kinikwestiyon natin ang kanyang kapangyarihan, ang ibig sabihin, ang iyong paniniwala ay hindi totoo tungkol sa kanya. So, umpisahan natin kung paano nga ba naging Diyos at the same time naging tao siya Yeshua is the same perfect in divinity and perfect in humanity the same truly God and truly man the statement is not true simply because the council thought it rather the council's declaration was authoritative only in so far as in aligned with what the Bible teaches on the subject scriptures It's clear that Jesus is God in John chapter 20 verse 28. We read it first. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus Christ did not rebuke Thomas, right? Sinabi ba ni Cristo, Unang Panginoon na, Thomas, wag mo akong tawagin Diyos dahil hindi ako Diyos. Hindi siya, hindi siya sinaway ng Panginoon, mga kapatid. Dahil kung mali si Tomas sa pagtawad sa kanya, ay kanya dapat itong inerebyok o pinagsabihan, di ba? In Titus chapter 2 verse 13, Waiting for our bliss, hope that affirming all the glory of our great God and Savior Yeshua. Ayun mga kapatid. In Hebrews chapter 1 verse 8, ano bang sinasabi dito? But of the sun, he says, your throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of uprightness is the scepter of your kingdom. And it is equally clear that he is a truly human, mga kapatid. In Romans chapter 1 verse 2 hanggang 4, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scripture. And verse 3, concerning his son, who was descended from David according to the place. In verse 4, And was declared to be the Son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness by resurrection from the dead. Ayun mga kapatid. Diyos lang mga makapag, ang mga kapangyarihan mga kapatid. Na, who's forgive the, forgive the sin? Only God. Yeshua, He is forgive the sin. If you have sin, He can forgive our sin, mga kapatid. That is the power of God. Marami lang talaga hindi nakaunawa, kaya medyo naalangan sila, medyo nalilito sila, mga kapatid. Yeshua claimed the divine name in John chapter 8, verse 38. We read it first. Jesus said unto them, Truly I tell you, before Abraham was I am. Ayon. 
In 1 John chapter 4 verse 2 and 3, we read it first, By this you know the Spirit of God, every spirit, every spirit that confess that Yeshua has come in the flesh is from God. In verse 3, And every spirit that does not confess Yeshua is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist which you heard was coming and now is in the world, mga kapatid. Ayon. At ang magsabi na si Kristo ay hindi bumaba galing sa langit, sila nga ay mga Antichrist. Okay, mga kapatid. And did things that only God can do in Mark chapter 2 verse 1. We read it first. And we read in Mark chapter 2 verse 1 to 12. We read it. And when he returned to the Capernaum, after some days, it was reported that he was at home. And many were gathered together so that there was no more room, not even at the door. And he was preaching the word of them. And they came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. And when they could not get there and near him because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And when they had made an opening, they let down the bed on which the paralytic lay. In verse 5, And when Yeshua saw their feet, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now, some of the scribes were sitting there, questioning in their hearts. In verse 7, Why does this man speak like that? He is blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? Verse 8 And immediately Jesus perceiving in his spirit that they thus question within themselves, said to them, Why do you question these things in your hearts? In verse 9 Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise, take off your bed, and walk? And verse 10 But that you mean no that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sin. He said to the paralytic, I say unto you, Rise, pick up your bed, and go home. In verse 12, And he rose, and immediately picked up his bed, and went out before them all, so that they were all amazed, and glorified God, saying, We never saw anything like this. I am in glory to God. Only Yeshua or Christ shall forgive our sin, mga kapatid. Wala na iba pa. Wala na mga Ponso Pilato o sino pa mga ibang pinaniwalaan ng mga ibang religion dyan, mga kapatid. So that's why my faith in God through Christ is very strong because I know the promise of God from the beginning and Genesis to Revelation that God is always with us if we believe with Him with our hearts, mind, body, and soul to follow Him. Glory to God. Hallelujah, mga kapatid. The belief that Yeshua is both God and man is of fundamental importance. The Apostle Paul wrote that a permission of the divinity of Yeshua is required to be saved. In Romans chapter 10, verse 9. We read it first. Verse 9. Because if you confess with your mouth that Yeshua is Lord and believe in your hearts that God raised him, raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Amen. And the Apostle John provided a sober warning that those who deny Christ through humanity are promoting the doctrine of Antichrist in 2 John chapter 1 verse 7. We read it first. For many deceivers have gone out into the world. Those who do not confess the coming of Jesus Christ is the place. Such as one is the deceiver and the Antichrist. Ayun mga kapatid. Dahil sa sanlibutan ito ay maraming deceiver. Kaya mag-ingat po tayo mga kapatid kasi sinasabi nila, sila ay naniwala kay Kristo ngunit hindi nila ito sinusunod mga kapatid. Sinasabi nilang mahal nila ang Diyos ngunit ang puso nila ay malayo sa turo ng Diyos at kay Kristo. Kaya sinabi ni Kristo sa Matthew chapter 24 verse 4 na mag-ingat tayo sa mga sinungaling at manluloko dito sa sanlibutan dahil marami na po sila mga kapatid. The Triune God of the Bible has existed a reign from all eternity 
and the second person of the Trinity. The Son took on human flesh as a particular point in time. In Luke chapter 1 verse 35, and the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy and the Son of God. Amen. In Hebrews chapter 1 verse 5, we read it first. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son today, I have begotten you, or again. I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. Amen. Glory to God. God the Son added a sinless human nature to his eternally existent divine nature. The result was the incarnation. God the Son became a man. In John chapter 1, verse 1, we read it. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen. Glory to God. In 14, we read it first. And the Word became a flesh, and dwelt among us, and we have seen His glory. Glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen. Mga kapatid. In Hebrews chapter 2, verse 17, Therefore, he had to be made like his brothers in every respect, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God to make propitiation for the sins of the people. Ayon, ay mga kapatid, no? Because Yeshua, he is the mediator between God and man. No other jiti, mga kapatid. Walang ibang tagapag pamagitan sa Dios at sa mga tao, kundi si Kristo lamang, mga kapatid. Gives the reason that Jesus had to be both God and man. He had to be made like them, fully human in every way, in order that he might become merciful and faithful high priest in service to God, and that he might make atonement for the sins of the people. The Son of God took on human flesh to provide redemption to those under the law we read it that in Galatians chapter 4, verse 4 and 5. For but when the fullness of time had come, God sent for his forth his son. God sent forth his son, born of woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as a son. Ay mga kapatid, no? Uh, hindi isang verses lang natin mababasa na ang mga taong naniwala sa Diyos ay sila ay mga anak ng Diyos. You know, brother and sisters, if we believe God and Christ and the Holy Spirit guiding us, we are the children of God. If we walk righteousness and leave the evil doers and wickedness in this world. Ay mga kapatid, maraming kasi tayong mga kapatid na hindi nakaintindi kung ano si Kristo because they did not read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, how can we understand if no guidance from God and the Holy Spirit? So that's why we always ask from God knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And the Lord given us, mga kapatid. Because more people did don't understand and they always questioning the power of God to us through Christ. That's why God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ is one. In John chapter 10, verse 30, Jesus said, I and my Father are one. Diba mga kapatid? At doon naman sa John 14, chapter 6 and 7, sabi ni Cristo, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes unto the Father but by me. If you have known me, you should know my Father also, and you already seen him. Okay. Yung mga kapatid, no? Sabi nga doon, ako ang daan ng katotohanan, wala makakapunta sa Ama, kundi sa pamagitan ko kung ako inyong nakita at nakilala, at nakita na rin ninyo ang Ama. Ayun. 
di ba? Panatilihin natin na magbasa ng Biblia at unawain at laging maghingi ng guidance sa Diyos pamagitan ng ating Panginoon na Kanyang pinadala upang tayo ay iligtas sa sanlibutan ito. So maraming maraming salamat mga kapatid. I'm ho- maraming maraming salamat mga kapatid. I would like to thanks to all of you, to all our new viewers. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel po para pag may mga bago po akong video ay ma-notify po kayo. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat, sa inyong mga supporta, and may the Lord bless you all. And I would like to see God bless everyone and much love.